Welcome in guys. It's Tony K with Urban Girl Scout Media and today I'm going to show you how I make uh, some of my space art that I've been selling recently. Things like this. Let me get a good close up here for you. See how that goes. I'm going to show you guys how to make these here today. So let's have some fun and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy what we're about to do. So, uh, I went ahead and did three spin arts on these canvases. You want to get the you want to get the color down that you're gonna do for the planets and whatnot first. And what we're gonna do is cover these with some objects, spray them black, Got our spray paint right there, and then we'll add the other lines and everything else. So, let's go ahead and uh, start working on these. All righty. So first thing I recommend really is getting the gloves on. Acrylic paint isn't too hard to wash off your hands, <clears throat> but spray paint is. And I have the three here, so what I'm actually gonna do is put some objects down on these and we're gonna do all three of them, spraying them at the same time. That's why I have a collection of different cups and things like that. I'm just gonna put these on here. And really, I'm just covering up the paint spots. That's it. I'm not doing anything fancy here. Just covering up the paint spots. Just move these out of the way so they don't get any more paint on them. And once you have your... So I use caps. Like a bunch of these caps here. Pennies. Um, some double length shot glasses uh, that I collected from like Dave & Buster's. And really at this point, all we want to do now is just start spraying. Um, really want to try and get as even of a coat as possible. You want to be careful not to, not to get anything on yourself, obviously. I'm gonna do the first one here and then we'll kind of go around. I'm trying not to mat it up too much. Get the first base on there. Don't focus too much on one spot, rotate a bit. It's not hard, it's just you gotta be careful of what you're doing. And we wanna cover up as much as we can, move on to the next one. I'm pretty excited, all these are gonna be a little different. They're all gonna have their own little unique kinda feel to them, so I think that'll be really neat. You notice I'm outside, you wanna do these Spray, you want to do the spray paint piece at least outside or somewhere really well circulated. You do not want to get any kind of headache or anything off these fumes. Just trying to use up some of these cans here as well. Now if you go about it this way, um, instead of doing like spray paint and using newspaper to kind of make patterns, if you do the acrylic art, spin art underneath these, it is going to <clears throat> create a few things you need to be aware of. The acrylic paint will actually create imprints on this. Like I can actually see on here where the acrylic paint underneath is from the spin art, which is kind of nice. And I'm just kind of letting this dry for just a moment here to see where we're at. And you can see already, not a lot of paint, but that's, that's still enough to be a pain in the ass to wash off. Sides, make sure everything's nice and clean. Good clean coats. And then we're gonna add the uh, random colors to give it a little more layer. So I still haven't moved these caps yet. Absolutely have not moved them. And I have a bunch of different paint down here under the table in my shopping basket I took that I'm gonna use to make some of the different uh, different lines. I really like yellow, pink, some of those colors are really good on this. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one at a time and we're gonna kinda make our lines do whatever we want. There we go. So we got yellow on that one. Let's go ahead and do blue here in the middle. I like to change it up, each one. 
I don't like to just do one continuous line, that's not my style. So I think this one I'll just do... a little bit darker. So you want to do like a light and a dark. You don't want to do two that are the exact same. And then this one, I'm actually really excited about this one. It has the four locks on it. Um, had the, the huge splattering in the middle. So for this one, I'm going to do pink. And you'll notice I'm not actually doing any shadowing. Um, not for these at least. I'm not too worried about it. So I think for this one, we're going to do pink right through. We'll do it like right through here as a curve. And I like to start just a little bit off the table. Just like that. And then figure out your second colors. And again, we're gonna go back to right where we started. Just going around down the line. There we go. So we got the <coughs> yellow and gum drop. Then we're gonna do a little blue and orange right here. In this middle one. Got some, a little more blue over that. Orange kind of came out a little spattery. There we go. And then for the pink here, I actually really like the idea of doing a yellow with this. here. So we got that. And again, we're still not going to remove these. Even though we have this all on here and we're in really good shape right now, next thing we want to do is add some stars. Before we do that though, we're going to just double check and make sure these are all where we want them. Um, definitely a little bit of bleeding in the colors, so let me show you that right now. So I just want to show you guys what we got. So that's the one that I was really excited about. And you see we got these right here as they look. So still a little bit of work to do and you see it is a little splotchy. We're going to go back and actually do another layer. Alrighty. So we're just going to see if there's anything we want to do another coat on. Just kind of clean that up a bit. I think the yellow on top of that one's good. This orange and blue is okay. I don't have any issues with that. The pink and yellow one kind of bled together just a bit. So it's a little weird looking. I'm trying to fix as much as I can here while still respecting individual colors. All right. So we have that. So now here comes the last part, and that's going to be doing a little white. And we're going to just spray it on our fingers. Spray it right on our fingers and we're just going to do this, splattering it on. And you actually want to get a decent amount on there. You want to make sure you get actual paint on your fingers, not just the air. That's why I wanted a few more stars on it. And I don't really care how it looks. I just want to get the paint on there. That's really the goal here. This isn't meant to be a perfect piece. It's absolutely meant to be just a fun, like something you can do with a kid, something you can do on your own. If you're really good at this, um, you can try and sell these online. I mean, there's a lot of potential with this kind of art. Uh, but overall, it's just really fun. So uh, just kind of checking to make sure that I got some actual white splattered on here. And you know what we're gonna do now is just let this pause here for a bit we'll come back and we'll do a reveal when this is all dry and ready to show you what we got so here's a look at our final product so you got the pink and yellow one that we did here a little orange and blue just going right across the sky it'll probably be a, a sideways one to, to stand up and then a yellow and purple not bad you can buy these on my Etsy shop. I'll link it in the comments here. But that's what we got.